Poland needs to ask Indonesia about its experience using South Korean-made submarines before buying them. Discussions between the two countries do not only concern the acquisition of military equipment, but it is also related to issues of industrial cooperation and technology transfer. Another interesting thing is that Poland is South Korea's first customer on the European continent. Not enough with land dimensions. Poland intends to buy marine defense equipment, which is also made in South Korea. Not long ago, the Polish Ministry of Defense announced its intention to buy a South Korean submarine. The Polish Ministry of Defense intends to purchase three latest generation submarines to strengthen its navy. This program has attracted the interest of global shipbuilders including South Korea's Handelhausen, where they are offering the KSSII submarine explain Defense Industry Europe on May 30, 2024. Hanoha Ocean itself is a subsidiary of the Hanoha Group. Meanwhile, Hanoha Group is a company that has supplied various advanced defense equipment to Poland, such as the K-9 Thunder self-propelled howitzer and the K-239 Chunmu ML or S system. We have decades of experience in building modern submarines. With those safeguards, we are confident we can meet the needs of naval forces around the world, said Vice Admiral Steve Jeng head of international naval business business at Hanoha Ocean. However, it would be better for Poland to discuss with Indonesia, which already has experience operating South Korean submarines. Due to the fact Indonesia has had better experience using Seoul submarines, several years ago, Indonesia partnered with South Korea to build three submarines. The Nagapasa class itself consists of three submarines, namely Nagapasa, Arde Dali and Alugoro. Indonesia deliberately used South Korean services to build the three submarines under the pretext of technology transfer. That's right, the three Nagapasa-class submarines were built in Indonesia, namely at the PT PAL shipyard. PT PAL was assisted by the South Korean shipyard Daewoo Shipbuilding and Marine Engineering DSME, during the submarine construction process. After receiving the three submarines, Indonesia intends to repeat orders to DSME to rebuild the three submarines. However, unfortunately, Indonesia has not provided certainty regarding the continuation of Batch II. Defense Minister Prabowo Subianto is said to have not yet signed the continuation of the construction of the three submarines. If it has been signed, we will immediately start work on Batch II said the head of Naval Ship Business Management Development DSME on June 5, 2023. The reason it is believed that Indonesia is reluctant to continue the project is because it is disappointed with the quality of South Korean submarines. The problem that occurred was with the first battery unit of the Nagapasa class, namely KRI Nagapasa 403. The battery functions as the main power for a submarine to do many things, such as diving, moving propellers, sensors and other electronic devices. 